Hi, this is Rob Lawrence from Saltec, and I'm here to introduce you to our machine direction gauging system. Machine direction gauging looks at the variability in the machine direction or the downweb direction on a film line. Benefits of this include improving machine direction variability, improving transverse direction variability, it creates opportunities for down gauging, and the film may have better optical properties as a result of machine direction variability reduction. And overall, you create a more stable process. There are two main challenges to doing this in film. One is that the line speed is very fast and the films are typically pretty thin. So you need to have high precision and you need a high speed system. I wanted to do a live demonstration of our online machine direction gauging tools. You've got your web um, flowing in the, in the down web or machine direction and we put a gauge on the line to identify the machine direction behavior. And once you identify the machine direction behavior, then you can uh, look for patterns and then correct that behavior based on the patterns that you're seeing. So you can see here I've got this gauge. Um, on thin films, it's typically precise to 0 0.01 mils or better. Um, here I have a 30 mil disc, so you can see it's quite thick, but I'm doing that to demonstrate this. So you can see when I rotate the disc, which is uh, simulating the line flowing through the gauge head, you can see this repeatable pattern. This disc has about approximately 1% 1, 1 variability in it. So I'm going to start the disc rotating here. Give a little help to torque. Um, so now you can see this repeatable pattern here. Okay, so when you're doing this in practicality, there might be many different sine waves over, overlapping each other, looking like a lot of noise. So it's important to identify the patterns. So we do that with fast Fourier transform analysis, also known as FFT analysis. And this is a software package that loads this data live into, into here and you can see the uh, frequencies of behavior. So it takes about 10 seconds of data and puts that in and you can increase that interval to longer intervals if, you, if you'd like to. Um, you can see I've got a peak here at about 2 hertz, and this is spinning at about 2 rotations a second. Um, so all that makes pretty good sense. Yeah, so I'm going to stop this. So now what would you do if you found out you had a frequency of 2 hertz? Well, you'd look for something in your equipment that's rotating at 2 hertz, and that would be the likely cause of that behavior. So you might have something, you might see a peak at 5 hertz or 6 hertz. Um, and two hertz, let's say, and you identify the causes of all those and then investigate and correct um, that behavior. And that reduces the overall machine direction variability. Now, this not only improves your variability in the machine direction, but this also helps your automated die control do a better job of, of improving the performance in the transverse or cross web direction because it's having to average out that machine direction data. And when it has less to average out, it can do a more consistent job of controlling the die. Thanks for taking the time to learn about our machine direction gauging system. Please contact us to learn more.